But were they, were, were they calling themselves firstborns at that time? No. The only thing they were doing was saying they were father sons. They, right. they wasn't saying they was a nation of gods and earth mm. or any of that. When I got knowledge of self, we were father sons. Yo, brother, you want to be a father sons? You know that the black man is God? Mm. What attracted me to the knowledge of self is, again, sound. I was listening, we was getting a smoke break in Spofford in the TV room. A couple of brothers were on the side reading, I mean speaking, mm. and they had a flow going on. Yo, my man, I see today's mathematics, today's mathematics, and that was the flow. I'm like, mm. what the hell is going on over here? So I eased over there and ear hustled a little bit, trying to know what was going on. Then one of the brothers said, yo, you know that black man's car? I said, no, I don't know what you're talking about. I wasn't a church going person. You know, mm -hmm. my family didn't go to church like that. So eventually we, we passed cigarettes out to each other and shared, you know, we started talking, speaking, building. And uh, I said, I was interested. I had to go on a three-day fast. And I went on a three-day fast. I got my Supreme Mathematics, I got my Supreme Alphabets, and I had to, my student enrollment. I had to choose a name for myself. But they didn't give me the lessons. They gave it to me by word of mouth. I wrote them out. Mm -hmm. I had a composition book. While everybody watching TV, I'm on the side with a brother named El Yatu and El Java. And they was telling me, this is where you study, this is what you do. And they would quiz me and ask me things. My name was Kasim at the time. Mm -hmm. 1968. 1968, my name was Kasim. And, um, I was there, did my fast. My, my born day is in October, and it's about the same time on my born day. Mm -hmm. You know, my born day is on the guard day of October. I fasted for three days, so like October the 10th or the 11th, I completed my fast, and I was basically officially a five percent just by that introduction. Then a couple of months later, November, I think it was the January, of 1969, I got transferred to Oldsville State Training School. It was in the winter months. And that's how I got to be in Oldsville. And it was nothing but guards all over the place. You know, you had to know your lessons up there. Mm. You know, they meet you on, on the, what it's called a path. The same path I was telling you about. You got Texas Cottage of North America, I mean, uh, North Carolina. They would meet. I was in, I was in Alaska Cottage, mm. right, all the way in the back. But we still end up meeting on that path, we'll meet up. And as you go on, on that path, God be up there waiting on you. Peace, God, I see the day of mathematics, my man, you know. Mm -hmm. And we started building and whatever. And if you didn't get it right, it had a saying that you would slip and stumble and your world may crumble. So you gotta get your stuff together, my man. Mm -hmm. I said, okay. So we started studying everything. Black Sea Sham God was there with me. And he was leaving to go home. But before he was gone, he took his lessons to the school, which Mr. Gandhi was the principal at the time. That was his name. And he always told the father says, don't bring your lessons to school. You leave your lessons in the cottage. Mm -hmm. Shamgar brought his lessons to the school. Mm -hmm. Mr. Gandhi took them from him. I had a job in the school as a custodian. So I had to, my job was to clean up. The school closed down. My job was to clean up and mm. do the toilets, do the floor, strip and wax the floor, wipe this everything is, down. Uh, spot, but this is a, no, this is in Oldsville. Oldsville, Oldsville, Oldsville. In Oldsville, mm -hmm. 60, in 69. Mm -hmm. And um, Shamgar went home, and as I was cleaning the principal's office one night, something told me to check his drawer, <laughs> see if it was locked. And I oh, no, opened the drawer, it was folded there, and I knew it was a blue folder. I was told the folder, the folder was blue. So I saw it, pulled it up, and it had a little window saying the name of Allah. Mm. Black, you didn't say black, it said the sham guard. Mm. I took it, put it in my pants, pulled my shirt, we had khakis. Mm. I pulled my shirt over it. I kept on cleaning. I've never been as nervous as anything in my life. As more as I was that time when I had that, that package. Mm. And I ended up making it, doing what I had to do, and I got back to the cottage. And that night, I started studying. The next day, I got up and went to the um, to the mess hall, to the child hall, the mess hall. And the brother hit me, oh, God, I ain't see today, mathematics. You know, I stumbled, got caught up in it. Mm -hmm. So at night, in, in the dorm, there's a fire door. And that door had a window, a long glass like that. <laughs> Excuse me and the light was coming in through that glass. Mm -hmm. And I sat on the floor when they said lights out. Mm -hmm. 
and I went through, I'm going to use equality day. I went through every six degree mm. and put it in my head for getting ready for the next day. So when somebody asked me a lesson, I would rip it off. So I had every six degree. I was like hot. I was hype. So the next day I'm going to the must mess hall and brother was hit me. Before he hit me, I hit him with his degree. Say, hey, my man, ba -da 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 -da. boom. Now how you see the day Matthew Max, my man? Mm. And I flipped the script and everything turned. So ever since then, I just got on top of my lesson and started studying my lesson. Right, right. And every time you get around certain brothers, you know, they would ask you, you know, how you see your lessons. During that time, when the father returned, a lot of brothers or change their name from, I say, Freedom of Law or Da Hu, they change it to a Law of Freedom, a Law Fu Quan. Matter of fact, there's a brother named Fu Quan. I see him around here every now and then, but I don't think he's not still living out the culture. But that was, like I said, years ago. Everybody changed and put a law in front of their name. And they mm -hmm. were ministers and they was cremators. That's what they were saying, calling themselves. And if you didn't know your lessons, they would cremate you. You know, cremate ministers you cremate you and burn you for mathematics was concerned. Okay. Yeah, so it, it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't universal beat down. No, nah, it wasn't beating nobody. It wasn't doing that. I mean they would beat you down if you just was messing up and you wasn't living out the culture. That's something different. Mm -hmm. But they wasn't doing beat downs like that. If you was Right. saying that you know you was part of the culture and then they bust you eating a ham sandwich or something like that then you get a beat down you know you disrespecting the culture mm -hmm. and um, you know that's been on for years and we just kept studying I came home and um, came home 86 I came home no I came home this was 69 I came home in 70 71 okay. came back out in the streets Got myself caught up again, you know, doing things I shouldn't have done. You know, going back in my old neighborhood, which is 117th Street, Lenox Avenue. That's where everything was popping at. Mm -hmm. I got myself in a situation again. I ended up going back. That's when I went to Woodburn Correctional Facility. It was a drug program. I tried to beat a drug, a drug sale. Mm -hmm. And I took a drug program. And they ended up uh, sending me there. I think I stayed there for like 18 months. I came home in 72. I stayed out for a while and get in no trouble. I get a little short of rest here and there, you know. And then again, back in 80, I got myself 79, 80, 78, 79, like a little short bit on Rackers Island, three months here or whatever. Mm -hmm. I had a pistol charge. And uh, the pistol wasn't mine, well, the pistol was mine, but it was in the, I put it in up under the seat of the cab. Mm -hmm. So they couldn't really prove it was mine. I'm saying it was the cab drivers, he's saying it was mine, I was trying to rob them. Hmm. I went to the law library, stayed in there for like 90 days, and they called me on, on a release. I was on the, on, on the block, on five block. And they um, called me, we was out there talking on the, on the tears, and they called my name and said I was getting a release. Hmm. You know, I submitted my paperwork and everything. I think I got out of there, it must have been like maybe, it was in the evening when I got on my block. It was cold, you know, I had the shirt that I had on, it was like a polyester shirt, polyester pant, it was beige, I never forget mm -hmm. the color, but beige and brown was my favorite color. Mm -hmm. Ended up going home, get myself together again, no understanding, went down to D.C., made a couple of runs down there, met a few people down there, I got family down there, and my cousin would put me with the circle of things that I needed to get done, done. Then I got the last bed, and I told my mom when she came to visit me in, uh, in Lewisburg, Federal Penitentiary, that I'm not going to get myself involved in no more trouble again. So I got myself in a situation in the drug game to be at the statue in my life, as high as I was in the game. I said, uh, if I can do that, doing things negatively, I know I can turn my life around and do it the right way, and I can rise higher than where I am in that. And I gave her my word. And until this day, I kept my word of honor. And my mother is 91 years old. She's oh, she still, still, she still, still with me. Okay, well, well, peace, peace. Yeah, she's peace, still with me. Peace, peace, and, and so far, I've been through my trials and tribulations. Like I said, I've been, I got released in 86, September 8, 1986. I had jobs with, I got released to the Salvation Army uh, uh, halfway out for six months. They wasn't giving that much time out. My record was, you know, good. I wasn't getting in no trouble when I was in, so they gave me six months. I went to Raybrook. They transferred me from Lewisburg to Terry, Indiana. Mm -hmm. From Ray, no, from Lewisburg to Raybrook to from Lewisburg to Terry, Indiana. 
from Terry here, Indiana, I went to Raybrook, New York. From Raybrook, New York, I got released to New York City. And I stayed in the halfway house for like six and a half months, working. I got a job with the Salvation Army, but I, I had a little odd job prior to that. I ended up being a porter in a woman's shelter. Mm -hmm. And I got a lot of guards' jobs down there. Mm -hmm. It was like the guard squad. Right? Lord Dumas was down there, AZ, A Du, Shabazz A Du. A lot of brothers I had just got jobs there. Then from there I went to the group home, mm -hmm. the Salvation Army. I went to the um, boys' group home right around the corner from the school mm -hmm. on 120, 127th Street, mm -hmm. between 7th and, um, and Lennox. It was a boys' group home here. And I used to bring the guys to the school, give me a chance to get out and interact with the brothers at the school at the same time. Mm -hmm. And from there I went to the girls' group home in Pilon, right up the block from here. And I was up there for a while. And from there, I came out, got a temporary job, worked in the Harriet Tubman Family Living Center in Mecca on 143rd Street between St. Nicholas and Lenox Avenue. And from there, I came here mm -hmm. in 1999. I got a job as a painter. And I worked here for 24, 25 years. Mm -hmm. And I just retired from here like a year ago. You know, so I started my own business, which is Universal Paintings LLC, and I got my own mentoring company, which is Positive Seeds and Peter on Incorporated, with the understanding that I needed to get myself together of the knowledge that I had. So it made me see the things that I was doing was wrong. Mm -hmm. So I tweaked it with the understanding I had, where I could be able to make some money as a profit, and I can be able to do a community service with a nonprofit and support my nonprofit with donations from various people and uh, the community. And that's what I'm doing now. That's where I'm at right now. You must do your own research, as I did. If Mega did this.